Hey Ice Surf Tribe, how's it going? This is Andy from Resonate Surfboards and this is going to be the first of a series for me. Um, Roy suggested I should start doing a video, logging my boards, uh, doing it video, like video style, so this is going to be the first one. So uh, this is a pretty pretty uh, important board for me right here. Uh, both of these boards, I'm going to explain what this is all about. So basically I was in uh, San Diego where I'm originally from. I've been down in Costa Rica 30 years and I'm from San Diego originally. My parents still live there. And this last three months I was in San Diego working with a friend doing something completely different for a change. I was learning masonry work, finished masonry work and uh, working with a good friend of mine. And uh, I was out there and I didn't really have a good board with me. I uh, didn't really have any of my board. I didn't bring any boards up. I was just there to work. And uh, about a month in the waves were starting to get better and I was not that stoked on surfing because I didn't have a good board. So I decided to buy a board and this is a big, pretty big uh, milestone in my surfing, I have to say, because I've got 30 years shaping boards, making and shaping boards. And uh, I decided, you know, it was time. There was just this split, this last minute decision where I decided to buy a board after 30 years. So it was a pretty big moment for me. I was buying a new wetsuit and it's just like off the top of my head, I asked the kid in the surf shop, hey, do you by chance have the bobby quad? So this is the Bobby Con, and it turned out like this was probably the only board I was interested in buying off of, out of any model out there. And it was just a board I had my eye on. It's kind of similar to a model that I make myself, which is kind of like a high performance biscuit model, fat tail biscuit. So I ended up purchasing, purchasing it, and, um, and I started riding it, and it worked pretty good. I was pretty excited about it. It was definitely getting me more stoked to go surfing while I was up there in San Diego. And um, after about a month, there was things in it. I was just realizing, like looking at the shape and how it surfed, where I can feel like I can make it better if I ever do my own version. But it's a very good board. It's a very versatile board. It looks like just like a small wave board because it's short. It's five six by nineteen and three quarters, two and a half. It's got 30, 30 meters of volume, which is kind of a lot for me. I usually ride like 26, 27. But it's supposed to be kind of a small wave board, but. Um, you know, they've done some reviews on this Bobby, Bobby Martinez, so they made this model for Bobby Martinez, famous uh, pro surfer, used to be on the world tour from Santa Barbara, California. They designed it for small waves, but then they started realizing it worked better in head high overhead surf. There's videos of him on YouTube. You can look it up, Bobby Quad, uh, and you can see him talking about it. And they, you know, there's a couple different versions where they talk, show him surfing bigger waves on it. And it ends up like he discovered it worked actually better in bigger waves. And I noticed that too, when I wrote it, it didn't really go so good in small waves. I was kind of um, disappointed with the speed in small waves. It was a little bit slower than I would imagine with this kind of shape. But then I realized why, it's almost like it's kind of geared up for like a, a, a wave that's got some push and uh, steepness. Um, but anyways, I wrote it three months up there, almost three months, and I brought it back to Costa Rica with me because I wanted to ride it here in the ways I know even better. And there's, you know, we get generally better waves here. And I also want to make a, a, a version for myself eventually. I got, I just got a bunch of orders when I got back and I'm kind of busy with orders. So I have to wait to make myself one. But my idea for myself is to make uh, almost pretty much a replica, but make four major changes to it. But what happened was there was a guy who's ordered a board for me who was going to get uh, a 5'9 Swallowtail, which is kind of a board I ride. It's one of my models, the Swallowtail. But he saw this and I was telling him about my, I just told him the whole story I just told you guys. And he's like, well, can you make me an upscale version of this? Because I was telling him I'm gonna make a five a copy of this with my changes. And so we decided to go with an upscale version of the body quad with the changes that I saw could be done to make it a little bit, or what I feel is gonna make it better. We'll see. But um, so basically what we have here is a, it's not a copy because, uh, you know, basically I changed the dimensions and changed the bottom contours, but there's a 5.9 version of it. And you see it's actually set up as a 5 fin. So this is just a quad, the Bobby quad. It's just quad. So this one, this guy wanted to be able to ride it like different ways, two plus one, quad, three fin, because he's got all the sets already anyways. So this one is a 5.9. What I did different, what I felt could be better on this board is number one was I felt like the outline was a little bit wide in the center for me. I used kind of like to like pull the center in and make a little straighter line here where it's got this little kind of like curve, what we call belly. Or so if you see this one, it's a little straighter line. 
So it's basically the same exact tail. Like here, it's all the same dimensions in this area, but I pulled the center in, and that should make it go a little faster, uh, just because this belly can slow you down. So that's why I feel it's gonna get more projection right there. Nose is pretty much the same. I might have pulled it in slightly, just because it's three inches taller. And um, then the second thing I did different was, I felt like the bobby quad had pretty flat rocker in the end. I tend to like to have a little bit more rocker off the end. That makes it go vertical a little bit better because this board tend to be pretty, pretty, pretty fast when the wave was good, but when I want to go for a vertical maneuver, the tail rocker is pretty flat right here. And I, when I came back I, with, in my shaping room, I put my rocker bar on it and measured it, and it was pretty low rocker. It's a one and five eighths, which is, is the low rocker. Usually on a board this size, I have like two inches of rocker. The taller board you go, the more rocker you have, it's usually like two and a quarter even up to two and a half for a 6.0 or a 5.11. But anyways, I noticed like I was pretty shocked when I saw that it was actually that flat and it kind of explained why it gets stuck a little bit when I go vertical. Um, so this board has a little bit more. I put like about a maybe three eighths more tail rocker, the same rocker all the way through here because I really feel this is a great rocker, but I just gave it a little more kick in the tail and I should give it a little bit more flow coming around on turns and a little better vertical. A little easier to go vertical and not get stuck. So that was number two. The second thing that I did different. Number three was the concave configuration on the bobby quad is, is kind of interesting. They got like this deep double concave going through the tail here. And it actually runs the double concave. You can feel it, it runs way up here, which I tend to do on my boards too, but this but the but the center line is kind of high. So what they did is they created like a double, but they didn't scoop it out. Because what I'll usually do first is create a single concave all the way through, so it's kind of deeper under your feet where the engine of the board is. Um, and then I create a double. So basically this one, you put if we put a straight edge on here, the stringer is the same height as the rail here, so it's just a big double scoop. But uh, so what I did different on this board was, put this on the rack, I'll get my straight edge. So what I did is on the bobby quad, the stringer here, touches touches the straight edge here. So it's it's double and this touches, but whereas I scooped it out first into a single, you can see the gap here. I'm pretty sure you can't, no. So it's basically deeper in here. So it's scooped out and then it has that double. So the double runs forward like the bobby quad, which is nice because it runs the water through this part of the board quicker, but it's also gonna go that much quicker because this area right here is scooped out more. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just hydrodynamically, the water should rush through the engine of the board better and create more speed for small waves. I just feel like it's summertime here. This guy's gonna be riding it all summer in average waves like this. So I try to gear it to a small wave. So there's, there's deeper concave in the body quad. So basically, those are the main changes I did. Everything else is really, really similar to the rails. I actually, actually also refined the rails because this one's got a bit of, like extra, I don't know, it's just got kind of a fuller rail than I would have liked. So this board's, you can feel the difference. It's just a little bit more refined in the rail here. So, like I use rail guides. <clears throat> I use rail guides for, you know, helping me control the thickness of the rail. I have these rail guides that fit on seven parts of the board. This is the center right here. And what I did on this board is I used my medium rail. So that fits real perfect right there, real snug. Whereas if I put this on a bobby quad, it's a little bit, it sits out a little bit. There's a little bit of extra foam up here I wanted to get rid of that'll help the board have some better flow. So this is just, like, it's a little increment. We're talking maybe 16th of an inch to an eighth of an inch thinner right here. Same rail here, turning. It's got that really nice tuck like an Almeric featured rail where it's very soft and tucked but it's just a little bit more refined up in here. So, so that's, that's the, the fourth, let's say the fourth big change I did to make it better. But you know, they're just really similar looking boards, but you can see them standing up. You can kind of see that like sleekier, straighter outline on this one where this is a little bit more curvy. So I really feel that's gonna have that extra drive. And all the other changes, it's just gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make one pretty soon, maybe next with the month. I'll make a version of this. I might even go an inch shorter. I feel like I can go probably down to five five, 
and keep pretty much do all the same stuff as this board, but make the same changes I did to this. A little bit narrower, deeper concave, a little bit more tail rocker, and I think it should go a lot better. So, so that's my first uh, board review. Hopefully that all made sense, and uh, hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, this is a big step in my surfing life to have like bought a board after 30 years of making my own boards. That was a pretty big step for me. I remember shelling out the money and I had no regrets. I was just like, hey, this is a cool thing. I'm gonna try the Bobby Quad. And it's gonna be sort of like research and development for me, a great like test to see how I feel on that board versus I've ridden my boards all exclusively for 30 years. I mean, I've sometimes traded boards with friends to try out like their Almeric or their Rusty or whatever, just to give it a couple of waves. But never had a board where actually in 30 years where I bought it and surfed it like super hard for four months. And, and I'm still riding it, but I can just, like I said, I'm feeling the limitations a lot of times in these areas where I feel if I make those changes, it's going to just go that much better. So we'll see. We'll hope. And now hopefully once I do that, we'll probably do a, uh, a vlog on that. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a surf session where I'm riding this board for maybe 10 waves and then take out the new board for 10 waves and we'll see. We'll just see how it goes and see if there's different. I'll put the same fins in. Basically, I'll, whatever fin setup I have that day. I'll uh, rock the same one on, on the new board and we'll just see how it goes and see if you can see the difference on, in, in my surfing riding the two boards. So that'll be pretty interesting. But uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed that and we'll be doing more of these. And uh, that's it for now. Aloha.